Okay, so this is a Slack from last semester. Um, so I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So this is the Ask GPAT channel. Um, and you can see that Castiel um, asked a question. And to respond to Castiel, instead of just going down here and then writing my response, so if I did that right now, so Castiel asks something and I write response, it's all the way down here in Castiel's question um, is up here. So what we want to do instead is to go here and answer a question. And um, yeah, I'm just going to put a smile because obviously this is the end of the semester and I'm not trying to like scare or be like, why is GPAT using this? But the key thing that I want you to keep in mind is that when you are making a, a post that you want to just be its own standalone post, that's when you come down here and you type your message. Right? But the thing is, is that if you want to, you know, respond to someone else's message, you hover over it, click the reply and thread, and then respond to that message. Okay? And you want to do that so that everything stays together and it doesn't sort of eat up space on the message board and it's just less confusing. Let's say that someone that, that the thread is super long and maybe like several people have responded. So here, Tara's got a question and you see that there are several replies. So, um, you know, Tara asks the original question, but maybe I want to respond to Marissa. I can just click at Marissa and then, you know, type the message here, right? And then press send, right? So that's how you do this, friends.